You know what guys, at some point in time, I grad school ako and I took up urban planning in UP for my master's degree. I didn't even know it, but I didn't finish it at the same time. But to explain to you guys how the program works, because the program is a ladderized program. So if you finish 26 units, then you get like a graduate diploma degree. And then, kailangan mo makatapos ng 36 units to get the master's degree mismo. So, natapos ko lahat except for thesis. So, hindi ko siya natapos. So, in today's video, I'd like to share to you kung bakit ba dapat na hindi kayo mag-master's degree. And if you're contemplating it, but I am not saying na lahat kayo wag mag-master's degree. Hey guys, how's it going? The name's Oshin and I am into personal finance, some tech that can help you, lifestyle hacks, and whatnots. So before we answer that question today, pag-uusapan muna natin kung ano ba yung mga considerations na dapat nyong consider before kayo mag-take ng master's degree. So the first one is your long-term career goals. And a lot of positions would require master's degrees such as professors, division chiefs, and even managers. And most of them naman, these are like the high positions in any institutions or in any companies. The reason for this is because if you are being given a bigger responsibility, dapat meron ka rin kaakibat na title so you have the right knowledge to execute your job and basically yeah you need a proof para masabi na oh okay i have the right skills and the right knowledge to execute my job and so i have this master degree and speaking of long term career goals if for example plano mo talaga na maging isang manager 10 years from now and then bata ka pa I would recommend you na wag mo nang mag master's degree. Give yourself like three or four years before you take up, you know, a master's degree or any kind of postgraduate or graduate studies. So the next factor that you might want to consider is your field of interest. Some fields might not even require for you to have a master's degree. Like example, sa mga tech companies, hindi na nila nire-require to minsan. And like a big example is that Google is planning to disrupt the requirement of a college degree when you're applying to them. But you know, sa ibang industries, they really need it. So for example, an MBA or like an MPA, yung mga Master of Public Administration or Masters of Business Administration. So depende talaga din sa field of interest mo. So the third factor that you might need to consider is of course your level of experience. While I mentioned this a while ago, we need to factor in this one kasi sobrang importante talaga na alam mo yung pinapasok mo when you go into grad school. Sobrang ibang-iba ang dinidiscuss sa grad school guys. Hindi siya katulad ng undergrad na or bachelor's degree na medyo theoretical. If you're a fresh graduate, I highly advise not for you to take masters. Masa sobrang iba, they, they discuss a lot of topics that are related to their work and how they're executing it and how they're applying the things that they're being taught in grad school, it's extremely different. You know, I had one classmate before na fresh grad siya, tapos parang nakwento niya din one time nga na parang medyo he got intimidated when we were talking about our work experiences during one of our class kasi parang siya, wala siya makontribute. You would be able to appreciate everything that you're going to study in grad school when you're already equipped with the right experience. At least give yourself two to three years on your work and if you really want to take up grad school then go ahead so the next thing that you're going to consider is of course the school that you are going to sobrang importante yung school guys of course kasi you can only get quality education on the field of your interest on the best school so always research the best school for your field of interest and of course, kung ano yung degree na gusto mong pasukan. So for example, ako, I took up urban planning during my grad school. So ang nag offer talaga ng the best school that's offering here in the Philippines is of course UP. So I took up grad school in UP. And yeah, always consider that. Kasi of course, since magi invest ka lang din naman for grad school, for master's degree, syempre, gandahan mo na yung investment mo. So the next one that you're going to consider is of course, your budget. Guys, depende sa school, pero sa experience ko, mahal mag grad school well unless if you're going to enter a state university yes they're comparatively cheaper then of course yung mga private companies like Ateneo, La Salle pero sa case ko naman since I took up grad school in UP sa UP kasi sa Diliman depende sa college so each college would have like different prices per unit so yung sa akin nun magkano ba 2,000 per unit oh 2,000 per unit and then per SEM 
nag-enroll ako ng 6 units. So, biro yun yung parang 12,000 minimum yon and then wala pang miscellaneous fees. So, yeah, mahal mag-grad school. Again, depende sa school na papasukan ninyo, you might want to consider having a budget and then hindi lang yung tuition fee yung kailangan mong budgetan. Kasi magiging studyante ka ulit and then you have to take into consideration your pamasahe. Well, of course, right now, it's not possible but you have to consider your resources, your internet allowance or your internet connection, mga kailangan mong bilhin ng materials and all. So, yeah. Always consider having a budget. So, kung kailangan niyo siyang pag-ipunan muna, I will leave some videos on how you can save up your money here. I have a playlist here. Please check it out. Another thing that you might want to consider while this is optional is that you might want to check out some schools na hindi lang basta local but also international schools. But again guys, this is not for everyone. International school applications are extremely competitive. Kailangan mong paghandaan yun and hassle mag-apply sa mga international schools. I've had a great fair share of that. Ilang beses akong apply I got accepted into some schools, but unfortunately, for scholarships, I didn't get accepted. Yeah, so it's not for everyone, but if it's really not for you, then it's not for you. But from what I've heard from friends na nag-scholarship then abroad, yung iba parang nakailang try talaga sila, I think like four times or five times na nag-apply, like every year nag apply talaga sila just to get that scholarship. So maybe if, if that's really what you want, then go ahead and there's no harm on trying. Let's go back to the question. Now, should you get a master's degree? There's one pet peeve of mine talaga is that taking a master's degree for the sake of having a title. Alam niyo guys ako nagtake ako ng master's degree kasi I want to treat it as an investment for myself. But unfortunately, you know, things happen and hindi naman tayo pare-pareho ng journey sa buhay, especially on our professional and career journey. Pero sobrang pet peeve ko talaga yung mga tao na they're just taking master's degree just for the sake of having that extra title on their name. Like, dude, with or without those titles, you're not different from us. Diba? Parang, ha. <laughs> Don't take a master's degree if that's your aim because I can assure you, even if you get a master's degree, most likely you will be morally corrupt. And you will think that power is based on titles when in fact, it's not. Also, don't do it for the sake of getting validation and approval from other people. Do it for yourself and to help other people using the knowledge that you will get when you take your master's degree. So take a master's degree because you love learning and it is something that you will treat as an investment for life. Share ko lang din guys, alam nyo nakausap ko one time yung boss ko. Basta mayroon, mayroon kaming pinag-uusapan lang and siya kasi, you know, she's very young then she's already a CEO of a company. Magkasing edaran lang kami, pero alam mo yun, tinanong namin siya kung may balak ba siyang mag-master's degree. Tapos parang sabi niya, right now, no, like, I'm taking care of all of you during this pandemic. And yeah, and if she's going to take a master's degree, parang sabi niya, it's for fun. I mean, because we love learning. I love learning. And parang nung sinabi niya yun, napaisip talaga ako, parang if I would have had that mentality siguro, eight or seven years ago, maybe I could have finished my master's degree. And if you're going to ask me kung babalik pa ba ako dun sa grad school, uh, I don't think so. Parang nandito na ako sa age, I'm already 30 and I'm in this point na uh, I want to spend my energy on a lot of things na outside of the school naman. Kasi parang, alam mo yun, parang tapos na akong mag-aral, ayoko na. I'm not really closing my doors but as much as possible, I don't want to hit the books again and to study a lot of stuff and read a lot of stuff. Because guys, just ko naman, of course, lahat tayo naging studyante. Like, a lot of us became students and studying was really, really, really hard. You need to sacrifice a lot of things. And it's not different with grad school. With grad school nga, talagang wala kang choice. Kailangan mong i-give up ang social life mo minsan. Ang lagi mo lang kasama, mga classmates mo, sila lang yung madalas kausap mo. And you might not have time with your family sometimes or your friends and to be honest ang hirap mag juggle ng grad school and ng trabaho thank you very much for watching if you find value on this video please do not forget to smash the like button and also subscribe to my channel and click the bell button beside it so that you will be notified whenever i have a new video all right so remember the more you learn the more you earn see you again soon peace out